Hello, hello, hello. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Who is out there on a wonderful, beautiful Saturday morning? Dr. Robert Smith's out there on a beautiful, wonderful Saturday morning. Um, Anthony's out there. Darla's out there. So we got a lot of people. Great. Here in Jersey, it's absolutely gross out. It is raining cats and dogs. I wonder whoever came up with that saying, it's raining cats and dogs. Like that person really must have been in a place that was like the downstairs portion of somebody that upstairs just threw cats and dogs out the window. I don't, I don't see how any other way that you could ever compare rain to cats and dogs coming down. So it's like, it's like, you ever hear, um, you know, you're just an ordinary Joe, like that first guy, Joe must have been so average or like, um, you know, just to be frank with you, that guy, Frank must have been such a not nice person that when you were going to say something mean, you had to say to be frank with you. Or, or the lazy Susan, you know, that thing on the table that you spin. Um, you know how lazy Susan must have been that they named something after her as a lazy Susan. Hey, Frida, Frida, I, I have got your emails. Um, I know we're still having a little bit of difficulty with the coin, the well, I don't want to put your business out there, but just email me again and let's get that taken care of. Because I, I do see it and I think I, e I emailed back and, you know, I want to make sure that you're okay. Okay. Um, all right. So what am I doing right now? Well, actually, I'm in the office and I'm putting together everyone's coin that's going out, hopefully today by 11 or 12. Um, that's really a Steve thing. For instance, it's a Saturday. So I'm always really late. Well, I'm always really... Um, not lenient, right? But like, like when the team is able to do something, I, you know, if it's Monday through Friday, it's like, hey, I, I asked you do it now. Um, on Saturday, it's, just get to it, right? So Steve is the one that invented the bot, which we're going to get to. So the bot does a bulk send really, really easily, right? Like we could just upload the bulk and it sends to everyone's wallet, which is a very manual effort because in lieu of the bot being automated, Anthony has to ledger everyone's transactions every single time, every single day. Now, of course, I'm making it sound like more than it is, but it's still a lot, right? Like I have to still pull up the Stripe records, go ahead and find out who did what transaction, divide it by the price of the day, um, who's an RVP, who gets that salary, who's a $500 a week individual that gets a 20% bonus. And it's always over two or three day periods because we never go a week or two weeks without sending people their coin. That would be crazy. So when I say to you that the bot is of the utmost importance, you want some cheese with that one? You know what? I do. Uh, so when I say it's of the utmost importance, it's not only because I want to make sure that we deliver this for you, but it's also it's a lot of time and I don't always get it right. You know, there are times that people will email V and say, hey, I think Anthony sent me too much. I think Anthony sent me too little. And we always correct it afterwards, right? Like we could, we're easily able to audit the accounts. But when we have 340, um, yeah, it does sound like I'm whining. The point being, I'm doing that right now. I'll have it completed in like 10, 15 minutes. I will ship it over to Steve and it will go out at some point today, hopefully sooner than later. As it pertains to the bot, I did sit with Steve yesterday and said, listen, the bot, like I know we have a couple of challenges and we've been able to share what they are and, and actually identify them. And he goes, Ant, we've solved them. I go, what? I go, so is the bot ready? He goes, it's going to be ready by the end of today. I said, well, listen, before I go out there and tell everyone that, which I just did, um, let's go ahead and test it against the bulk send tomorrow, which is today, because I'm telling a story about yesterday. And let's just let everyone know that it'll be ready for Monday. He goes, that would be awesome. So... I believe what will happen Monday is we'll set the bot for every 10 minutes, it will check for a transaction. If that transaction takes place, the bot will identify the transaction, identify the person, um, divide the transaction amount by the existing market price of Rhino on PancakeSwap, and then go ahead and pull the amount of coin that is for you and send it over. Um, that's the easiest, well, the easiest, like that's what it's going to do. So that will be Monday by 12 o'clock. So midnight going into Monday or midnight of Monday. I still don't, I don't know if, is that midnight Monday or midnight Tuesday, right? 
um, or Sunday. So that will be going, that will be live midnight Monday morning, which means Monday we'll do another bulk send where we'll catch up on everything that hadn't been sent, right? So today is Saturday, I'm sending for Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So we'll do a bulk send Monday for Saturday and Sunday, in which case everyone should be totally caught up from here to kingdom come. And that's me saying thank you. Because, um, so Eric, which everyone knows, we absolutely love him. One of the things that he said to me was, Ann, I, I, I don't know, how... the cojones you have to go ahead and launch stuff that's not done is second to none because everyone seems to still like you. Everyone is still on board. And I said, well, nothing's ever gonna be perfect, right? Like you, you don't know what you don't know until you learn it. But if you stay honest with those that you're in the foxhole with, people actually appreciate being part of the process rather than being served the dish, right? I, you know, they charge a, a very large premium for you to get a table in a fancy restaurant in the kitchen. Most people would say, well, why would anyone want to go sit in the kitchen? They could go sit in the kitchen at home because it's the experience. It's seeing how things are done, seeing how decisions are made, seeing how things are put together, seeing when something comes up, how do you solve it? That's the stuff that that life only offers in the moment. You can't go ahead and say, all right, listen, I wanna go ahead and, and purchase a plan where I'm going to be financially invested in a company and I wanna see all the things that go wrong that make me wanna like lose my breath. I wanna see the founder and the steward of that company solve a, th a thousand things a day. And I want him to do it in such a way that it's so public that everyone knows what's good and what's bad. And um, if it doesn't work, everyone will know it in real time. Um, I want that. Where, where, do you, where would you ever go buy that? You couldn't, you have to just be a part of it. Um, and like Darla said, imperfect action can be like a falling forward, it is positive. Which actually, uh, I think, I don't know who said that for the first time, but I know there was a college speech that, um, what's his name, Denzel Washington gave, where he talked about the key, uh, the importance of falling forward to always make sure you're falling forward. Go ahead and do those big things, just fall forward. And that's what Rhino does, right? So the, the, the things that Rhino offers that no one else can is work ethic, right? Like you can't scale work ethic. You can't make up work ethic. I don't care how many, how far AI technology gets and automations and blah, blah, blah. To go ahead and know that the person that's stewarding this, you can see every single day, you can email, you could talk to, sharing everything with you and that you always know everything that's going on, whether you're reading the balance sheet, whether you're reading the emails, whether you're on the lives, whether you're asking the questions, whether you're booking the call, or whether you're emailing or whether you're texting or whether you're actually just calling my cell phone. You can't, you can't fake work ethic. And that's the thing that we have that will always make us better than everyone else. And I don't wanna say better, cause that sounds, it gives us the opportunity to be the best, because if we produce the highest level of work ethic from the top down, then the only thing differentiating us from those that are better is skill set and skill set is a learned behavior. Therefore, if you have the work ethic and the intelligence to learn the behavior, you have everything on paper to be the best. Um, so I'm kind of rambling a little bit because it's Saturday, it's rainy and I'm on like my super duper uh, brain medication. And that sounds bad when you say it, but I'm prescribed modafinil, which actually helps the really, really creative process because I'm still finishing the marketing strategy for today. So you have me in like rambling mode kind of. Um, so let me see, I have the coin going out. We have automations happening. Rhino hit another new all-time high again today. Stop me when you've heard that before. And RVP, um, well actually Warp Speed starts Monday. I will not be live Monday and Tuesday. Um, maybe I will be at like 5 p.m. I don't know. I'm sure I'll find a way, but I have jury duty Monday and Tuesday from 9.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. So just on top of like all the things that we have to do, well, I have to go ahead and go to court, in which case I'm just going to say that they're guilty because they took way too much time of mine. I'm kidding. I wish the court would have heard that because they'd be like, that guy's clearly biased. We can't have him there. Am I really going to be done one minute early? No, it's now 10.10. So I just wanna be out here, tell everyone I love you and tell everyone that we are working diligently every second of every day. And um, I always 
when we launched the coin, and not back in November, where November 2021, where it was on a private market, but when we when we launched on the public market, that was a big moment, and not because oh you you launched a coin, but because when you're on a public market, it's no longer in your control whether you go up or down, right? Like when we launched November 2021, we did a scale. We're gonna do one cent in November, one and a half cent in December, two cent in January, three cent in February. And everyone was okay with that because we all understood the work in it and we all saw it and we all believed it. But when you go to public market, you're you're no longer just in your silo of those that believe in you. You're now being inspected by the entire globe, right? And that's that sounds a bit hyperbolic. And it is, right? Like the entire globe is not inspecting Rhino. But the entire globe has the ability to. There's nothing hidden. It's a public market. Anyone from anywhere could say, oh, Rhino, let me go check it out. And they see everything. And it's at that moment, and I, I don't know if you what if you follow too many stocks in on Wall Street, when they IPO stocks usually go up a lot or they go down a lot. Because that's when the entire world gets to actually vote on it, not just the people and part of it. Like when you have a, a company in a private market, the only people that own you are the people that like you. They purchased you on a private market. All of your shareholders like you. They all are there because of you. When you go to a public market, these people didn't grow up with you. They have the opportunity to buy, sell, and whatever. The point being to go from a dollar very stably up to $2 and a new all-time high again today, $2.02. It's no longer because our close-knit circle of rhinos loves us. It's because the rest of the world is saying they got something going on over there. So I just want to share that. Um, all right, I'm totally rambling, so I'm going to go. But love everyone. I will not see you Monday and Tuesday. I'll try to find a way to sneak in. But um, other than that, um, I'll see you later. Bye. And please excuse my rambling today. Bye, everyone.